Whew. Good evening, everybody. It is hot. It is about 100 degrees out. I'm here in Western Colorado, and I'm here to do some bass fishing, and I'm here to try to maybe get in some walleye too, but probably trying to get into smallmouth and largemouth mostly. It's a bit of a windy evening. Um, I'm only gonna be out here for about three hours, and then it's gonna be nighttime, and then I'm gonna be bouncing out of here. I didn't have my headlamp or anything, but gonna keep the intro short, gonna get right into the fishing. So stay tuned, guys, and wish me luck. I got the 120th ounce mushroom head here with a California crod. Rattling Ned. We're gonna kind of cast around this cove and see what we can get. There's always different water levels here just due to the crazy hot summers and the drought we had last year. Since we started this channel, and ever since I've really been fishing at this reservoir, it's always different water levels. When the water level gets like this though, and I kind of get that access to that creek coming out over there, we've gotten some pretty good fish before. All right, here at the creek mouth. Got some pretty nice coverage. I'm not sure how deep it is in this creek, but I bet it's not too bad. Not even a tap yet. It's pretty. Yep, that one. All right, you guys, not sure what we're on. Probably a bass, though. I'm not sure if it's a small mouth or a large mouth. Looks like a nice small mouth. Oh. Look at that, you guys. Nice little two pound small mouth. All right. All right, so again, guys, that's the Guggen bait, Rattlin' Ned, 120th ounce Z-Man mushroom head. And I got that in the seven foot two medium light. Oh, something definitely nipped it. Oh, I got tugged. All right, everybody, so this actually is not the mouth of the creek. This just kind of flows into that beaver dam. I'm actually gonna try to walk over there where the water's flowing into the lake. Probably have a better chance of getting some more fish there. I did get that respectable smallmouth in this area, but haven't gotten much else since. Here's the creek, you guys. I just I think I spooked it, but there's definitely a bass down there. I don't know if I can get into that. All right, you guys, I got it. Oh, that's a good size largemouth. That's the one I saw down there too. All right, this is interesting. That's a good size largemouth. Gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that. Oh. Oh man, I don't got him very good. See where that is? I was just dangling it there from that angle. And he uh, he got it. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, that's a good one. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Try not to eat it here. Look at that tank, you guys. Oh, I can fit my whole fist in that mouth. Oh, it's a beast. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is nice. That is a nice bass. Get some more water here. So I can get a quick measurement of it. Oh my gosh, you guys, 20 inch bass. Whew. That's probably my PB. I think that is my PB lengthwise. It's probably about, I don't know if that's five. It's pretty skinny. Maybe about four and a half, five. Oh. 
Look at that beast though, you guys. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful largemouth. Swimming back to its home. You can see it right there, still chilling. There it goes. Woo! I'd say that's my PB largemouth here, right in this little creek. <sighs> Nuts. All right, everybody, I am pumped. That was sweet. Decent smallmouth. What I'm guessing is my PB largemouth. Definitely is lengthwise. I was over 20. Been using California crawl all, all evening. Got those two nice ones. I'm gonna switch up and go PB and J. See what that does. Got one, guys. First cast over here. Had to get out of that moss a little bit. Feels good size. Pretty sure that's a fish, yeah. Honestly, it's just not even fighting, I'm just dragging it. Another good sized largemouth, you guys. Yes. 17 inch or inch off a of master angle for here in Colorado now. Emmys here in Colorado are definitely tiny compared to ones in the south and up north, but we can we take what we can get here in Colorado with bass. Jeez. All right. Really good sized bass. Hey everybody, so let's see if I can get him. There's a little frog here. Look at this guy. All right, you guys, I got him. Look at that. Little frog. I bet if I put him on a hook, I could catch something, but I'm not gonna do that. Creek's back there beaver dam area. I'm opening over to here where the cove kind of starts. See if for the last part of the evening I can get into some walleye. Still a really good chance that I run into some bass over here as well, but wouldn't mind taking all my walleye at the end of the night here to cap everything off. Oh, it feels so good out now. Yep. Not the best. Hooked to the bottom lip somehow. Guys, that's what the VMC, eighth ounce, the California craw. I see it's something a little bit more heavier. Now it's getting darker. It's 
something a little bit more flagrant. It's a nice little two pounder, two and a halfer. All right, guys, let's get him up. Been a good evening of fishing, you guys. A good evening indeed. We got one, you guys. Oh no! Oh wait, what? Looks like I caught somebody else's lure, guys. I caught somebody else's cast master. All right, everyone. So I definitely had a fish on there. I could feel it yanking, but I think I might have had this fishing line instead, and maybe that got ripped out of its mouth. But take this with me, throw it in the trash, and at least I got this out of a fish's mouth, probably. Oh. Yeah. What did I get, you guys? Oh my gosh, a really, really tiny walleye. I wanted a walleye, you guys, but I was hoping to get one to keep. Oh, well, there it goes. Well, everybody, that was a fun evening of fishing. Got into some nice bass, including that PB largemouth out of that creek, that nice smallmouth, and even that dinker walleye. Missed some bites too, but you know that's part of fishing. Really love the Ned rig. It's just one of those catch-all rigs. You can even downsize a little bit to catch some trout, but again, today was just about bass and trying to get some walleye too. As I'm recording this, it's actually the next day. As I got back to my car, it was dark, didn't want to do the outro there, and it got super windy too. So I figured just to do it now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit all those buttons if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And guys, until next time, Team Cops on and out.